just yeah. the last two weeks, and just his athleticism, his playmaking ability. Just your thoughts. Well, he's he's leading the country in interceptions. He's leading the country in interception touchdowns. He's leading the country in interception return yards. But it's about a lot more than that with Billy. It's about what he brings to us every day and, and not just about his playmaking ability, but the leadership that he he provides for the, our, our defense. And uh, really, really proud of him. I'm not surprised, but I'm really proud of him. Our Mason Thomas has struggled with injuries, his ankle yeah. all season. Finally today, he got sacked. Everybody talked about how good of a pass rush he was right. during the, the fall camp. What was it like seeing him out there finally get that type of losses? It's awesome. He's a kid that, uh, that has worked his butt off since he's been here. Uh, a guy that, you know, like so many careers, they go like that. And to see him, like, get, finally get healthy or healthy enough, you know, that's a big deal. And obviously it's a shot in the arm for our, for our team. But, uh, again, uh, he works his tail off, and I have a lot of respect for that kid. Where did your pass rush affect that, did you know? Uh, at times, we, we affected the quarterback, um, you know, moved him off his spot. We didn't sack him as much as we like. I think we got close a lot. But, uh, you know, again, like like every area of our defense today, uh, a lot, you know, room for improvement. Uh, but, yeah. Okay, you had a really good first half. Best dress. Yeah. Really good in the second half. What happened? Uh, what was the, why, why was the ball played in two halves? Well, I take responsibility for everything. It starts with me, but uh, you know, um, a play here or a play there, or, 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 and especially a momentum play like where we have a chance to have a negative yardage and for it to go to second and twelve, and instead we miss a tackle and it goes to, you know, first down or, or, or all those types of different scenarios. We got a chance to get off the field on third down and don't. Or so I mean, there's a lot of things. It's not just one thing or one person. It's a it's a combination of a lot of things. And, uh, you know, today wasn't our best performance. Uh, but at the same time, you know, there were some good things uh, that happened during the course of the day. But uh, we've, we've got to do a better job in moving forward. Uh, whatever's next, we've got to play better our next game. Was there any similarities between this week and last week and the struggle with the running defense? Like just uh, yeah, there was some struggle. Absolutely, there were some struggles, some similarities. Yeah. Uh, it's, you know, again, it's not just one thing. You know, it's one guy here, one guy there. The, the, the next time it's this or a call or whatever. So it's not – I'm not going to hang in on one person or one thing. But, uh, again, you know, and that allowed them to, to stay in the game, you know. Or, and so we've got all, all got to do a better job. Is it correct? Is it correct? Absolutely, it's 100 percent correctable, and that's the that's the encouraging thing. You know, it's 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 all correctable. Can you talk about Gentry's journey to get back on the field? I know he's still playing through pain, and we had a little mishap in the second half. Just what's your thoughts, your side of him, the way he's? Uh, Gentry's a guy that's extremely prideful, uh, and uh, a guy that cares a lot. Cares a lot about our team. Uh, cares a lot about his teammates, and um, again, a guy that. Just an unfortunate where he, where he is right now, especially for a young player, because you know it's not like he's played three years and played 600 snaps a year. I mean, he's you know a young player needs reps to develop, and uh, that 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 hurts. You know when he when he when he can't practice or you know things of that nature, it takes away from his preparation. But you know I I believe wholeheartedly in, in Gentry Williams, I and mean, he's going to be a wonderful player here in Oklahoma. Is he based in a situation he can't get healthy until after the season? Uh. You know, I, I can't really say that. Um, I didn't get my doctor. I didn't get my doctors. I was something the least amount of math and science that I could possibly get in college. So I can't. I can't give you a prognostication on his health. Ted, we don't know what's going to happen with the Big 12 championship game if you guys nope. do not play in that game. Talk about the importance of recruiting and closing on the class. Oh my gosh! Right yeah, now. I mean to show to show the progress and make the progress that we've made this year. You know, as far as the jump. Uh, we've got a wonderful class put together, and you know to be able to, to to keep that which we anticipate, and at the same time add to it and make it better. And uh, you know not just the 24 class, but the 25 class as well. I mean, so there's it it the momentum is is huge, you know, and uh, winning creates creates momentum. Ted, I think we asked you this early in the season, but what's the how has the the reactions that you've gotten from recruits and their families been different? throughout the year as you all have shown the improvement from last year. I think what's what's happened is sometimes people ask and sometimes they don't. You know, like 
okay, what's the, can you guys do this? Because as a group, you know, that was year one. And now we can say, here's what we told you, and it's come true. So there you are. Yeah. Yeah. What's the conversations like with guys who could leave early, like Danny, Billy Bowman, guys that could go to the pro? Do you have those conversations? You Absolutely. You, you tell them, and you tell them the truth. You know, based on my experience of doing this for 37 years, if a guy's ready or not, and you tell them the truth. And because I, I want what's best for our guys, I want what's best for University of Oklahoma, and I want what's best for each individual one of those guys. Because uh, I care a lot about, uh, like like all our coaches do, and that's how you build build relationships is through trust, and trust comes from telling people the truth. So. You have truthful, honest conversations, and then you let the chips fall where they may. We good? Thanks, Ted. All right. So you don't even have your game day jacket.